Oh hey, didn't see you there on the windowsill, gently resting crookedly on a bag of candy corn. It's Tweet Tap time again, where we follow everyone so you don't have to. My name is Mike Falzone. I haven't washed any of my clothes in a week. I'm covered in dog hair, and you look just as pretty as can be. General David Petraeus stepped down late last week after the FBI found evidence of his affair with his biographer, Paula Broadwell, which is, of course, a pen name, because she got it while she was in the pen. <laughs> Stealing famous people's jokes isn't plagiarism. Controversial author C.J. Wellerman tweetly deets, General Petraeus had one affair, then resigned as CIA director. Newt Gingrich had three affairs, then ran for president, which is saying that the majority of Americans will let you knock boots several more times before considering that you're unfit for whatever job you're doing. In all honesty, I have this guy who lives down the street from me who pumps gas. He does well for himself, as far as the ladies go, and he's moving up. He was on pump one, now he's on pump two. He was working in the store for a little while, and then there was a Slurpee incident which I think was involved with one of the boot-knocking incidents. Either way, you can pretty much do anything if you're sexually active. While Wellerman may have an interesting point, debatable, it's sort of important that the head of the CIA doesn't keep his own secrets. The affair was outed when the FBI began to investigate Broadwell after she sent a threatening email to another woman, Jill Kelly, a friend of Petraeus's wife. When did the CIA turn into Beverly Hills Middle School drama? Because I like it. Lauren Ashley Bishop, too many first names and the name of a religious figure tweets, Oh come on, who hasn't slept with their biographer? If there's something I've always chose to live by, it's that. How can somebody write an accurate biography without knowing what your penis looks like? Honest, honestly. Mark Willisy tweets, Japan creates bird mascot to warn Fukushima kids about the dangers of radioactive fallout. Okay, so we had a bird in America to teach us what letters were. This mascot bird is taking it to the streets and giving these kids some knowledge that they can actually work with and apply in real life. So the bird is called Kibitan. It teaches Japanese children how to be safe in the wake of radioactive fallout with warnings like, stay away from puddles where radioactive material tends to accumulate. I wonder if he sings all that stuff. Stay away from puddles. Radioactive material tends to accumulate. I wrote another little song for the mascot, and hopefully they can translate this and it still rhymes. Your tolerance for radioactive waste should be zero, unless you want to turn into a superhero. Bird mascots. While some of us are growing increasingly concerned with the fiscal cliff and impending tax increases and spending cuts rolling over from the Bush era, some of us are just going with it. Timmy Williams tweets, I can't wait to see how many mediocre punk bands name themselves Fiscal Cliff. <laughs> Not bad. I'll give you that one. Peter Waldron tweets, I saw a guy rooting through a dumpster, ask him how is the fiscal cliff dive been going, then we totally high five. And then I saw that he found a sweet toilet seat and I totally covered it with macaroni and gave it to my mom for her birthday. Tell us what you think about the fiscal cliff at waywire.com. My name is Mike Falzone, leaning on a sink now. I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be in this kitchen if you need anything. Please don't need anything. Imagine like a, a classroom of like 20 droning, repeating Japanese kids. Okay, what don't we do? We don't run through a crosswalk. Okay, what do we do? We look both ways before crossing the street. What don't we do? Drink from radioactive puddles.